Uh, first of all, I, I would like to, uh, again, I'm a financial professional. I don't have a real estate license, so I'm not an expert for real estate. <laughs> so I don't give the tax illegal or any real estate investment advice. So, yeah. But I would like to share with you for our many cases with client, help out client, we, we can tell from the client side, they face these challenges. Well, especially in Silicon Valley, you know, a lot of people at the rich and cash flow poor. And most people don't want to sell because the large capital gain tax. And uh, some of them want to wait to see the, you know, even one of, one of the spouse will go to heaven then we can get the step up tax break. So they don't need to worry about the capital gain tax. Okay, David, before you continue, I want to make sure everybody can see your screen. Now, right now you should be seeing current challenges for asset owners and retirees. Are you seeing that slide or you're not? Are you seeing current challenges for asset owners and retirees? Only the first slide, you see that's the problem. They're not, they're just like me. They're not seeing your second slide. Oh, no change. Uh, okay. What Only the first slide. Everybody seeing the first slide. Okay. Uh, I think, let me double check. I shared my screen. Okay. You. Who's the presenter? You are the presenter, right? Okay, right now, we see, we're still seeing the first screen. Okay, let me, so after share, I should be okay. Okay. Oh, now it's changed, right? Now okay. it changes, yeah. Now it's okay. 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 Good, good. Good. okay, let's continue. All right, so here's some uh, change for the uh, real estate owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Not, good. Not switch. Huh? <laughs> not switch. Okay. Sorry for the a little bit technical issue here. Let let me sort it out. Uh. Yeah, my screen. Should I use share application? No, it should be share the screen, right? Just share the screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's correct. Oh, no, okay, yeah. Go ahead, but you don't want them to see this. Yeah, so they can actually, no, just reduce it right here. Okay. Let's, let's do this, okay. Okay. Cannot move. This is kind of weird. This this one cannot move aside. <laughs> anyway, sorry for a little bit. You no, know, the word coward. So, uh, yeah, again, the challenge. I think uh, the most challenge for all the owner actually for all the uh, expert in real estate. Uh, most people don't don't want to sell because of a large capital gain tax. And also people have, uh, uh, I have actually one client who has uh, 13 properties or multiple rental properties in Bay Area. She does not want to sell, why? Because uh, capital gain tax. But it ends up she really have poor cash flow. When at her age, is already uh, 65 years old, um, because uh, some of uh, uh, some of the property she has is really have a, even have a minus uh, cash flow, or negative cash flow. So that's why she she cannot retire. Okay. So and also there are some case there are more than seventy percent debt structure with large capital gain tax liability. 
as we'll discuss the later, the tax, the capital tax, uh, were more than more than 30 percent if we, if 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 the owner sell the house. So plus 70 debt structure, this owner even cannot pay off tax plus the debt, right? So and also obviously there's not change challenge from the 1031 and change because uh, it's really hard to find a positive cash flow property to exchange. Plus those, uh, uh, you know, the the, uh, the depreciation accumulation uh, recharge back. Okay, so today we'd like to show the solution, one solution to solve all challenge we just mentioned. We call it MIS program, monetized installment sale program. So this program is specially designed to defer the capital gain tax for decades for most of a non-security transaction. When, when I mean the decades means at least 30 years. Well, you can actually, there's an option for you to review, you can extend not 30 years. Okay, so, and also, Talk about non-security transaction, which means uh, as long as it's not a involved to public stock trade, mutual fund, those kind of things called security transactions. So, so this program is not limited to real estate, but also for those startup company, you no know, emerge, buyout, you know, all those uh, lecture stuff is there. Like ladies have a really nice bag. Ten years later, maybe double, triple, your, your price you sell that, you can leverage this program to, to save your tax money as well. But today we'll use the real estate example. So this is, you guys are experts, so really familiar with this, right? Should you sell? In California, through the title company, it changed this and money is done. Once the seller, Receive the sales proceeds. It's called construct receipt. Upon construct receipt, the title company will notice it. That's why the seller or owner has tax due, will trigger tax event. So the owner should be paid a capital tax before next, uh, you know, uh, the the April first before the you know, tax return. Oftentimes, people think about capital gain tax is uh, 50%, but this is uh, uh, in actually most of the real estate cases is wrong. In most of the case in California, or Silicon Valley especially, most of the cases will pay 30 to 40% of the profit going to tax. Well, I'll give you guys the example later on. So we all know once the tax fee is paid, or actual tax event is triggered, there's no way for you to save tax at that time after triggered. So we have to do that before that. So here is an example. This is a, a rental property in East Bay. Sale price is, a, if you look at the uh, uh, top right corner, sale price is 1.1 million. Uh, this uh, owner is purchased around uh, 2009, 2010. Uh, he actually purchased at a 470K. So that's a some improvement cost at around 70K. Okay, so she sold in uh, last year. Uh, the price is about, uh, yeah, like I said, sales price 1.5. If you look at the middle corner, or one point nine, sorry. So this case, tax for gain about 500K. Then if you look at the middle corner, the sales federal income tax, so because of, because of her federal income tax will bring up his capital gain tax. When we talk about capital gain tax, it's for federal. The other side is, well, unfortunately, California is the most one of, one of most high state tax state. So it's about 
13.3%. Uh, so fire attack capital gain is 20% for this case, plus if you look at uh, here, you can see my mouse, 20% for fire tax, 30.3% for state tax, 3.8% is generated by volunteer, right? So high income, you have to pay this. So add together, and I mentioned that depression recapture, is a, this house is not, he, he actually didn't claim the depression uh, in his uh, previous tax return. So if he did uh, claim that, it will recapture back. So add together is already 37.1%. So total tax liability is 187, more than 187K. So his total tax gain is about 4,904, right? So in this case, if we, we help this client with this uh, program, and, it's, and he can actually save this tax money, 183 k put in a very conservative investment tool, which is, uh, well, he, he can invest his own, this is the option. We can help him find the five, really guaranteed 5% for long term. 30 years later, the return will be this, almost 800 k so do, do you think this is a good, this is more people, why you invest in 401k, right? You want to put your money with tax before, 30 years later, at least three, four times the growth. So you can, uh, this is the same concept. You leverage this, put your tax money for the tax before program, and hopefully, well, in this case, well, for sure, 20, 30 years later, four times growth, guaranteed. Okay, so how can we do that? It's very simple, just how can we legally postpone this constructing receipt? When we can postpone that, we'll postpone the tax bill. And not that, and also this program will help the seller or owner receive cash, lump sum cash, at close time, nearly equal to the selling price. So here's the two most important slides to understand this problem. Once you understand these two slides, you understand all the concepts, you, are, you can actually tell your client in five minutes. Okay, we all know this is traditional step, right? Seller, buyer in the middle, this is the title company in California. Maybe some say this, oh, by the way, this program is not only limited to California. They can use you know, the, the national wide. So in some like New York State, you no, know, there's no title company profile. They have an estate attorney can do that. So again, like a traditional sale, you still need the uh, buy the agent, sell the agent, find a deal, make agreement, trying to do, trying to close the case. So, but meantime, this we have one more row here, left corner, we call it capital asset dealer. Okay, this this guy or this company will act like like a middle person. Is it, I think that most of you all know the 1031, right? Or you, you've done 1031 before. So this, this dealer is more like the 1031 company or, or accommodator. So dealer is like a middle person. He will do the, we call it installment sale with the seller. Once the buyer come in, this piece, was through the dealer directly transferred to final. So for the that for the buyer, there's no difference. It's just like a 1031 change. So the buyer money will come in to the title company, right? Sales proceed. This is taxable money. If we are not 
Traditionally, I know this testimony just press it, it will go direct to the seller. Then we'll trick text event we mentioned it earlier, right? So if that uh, money goes to the seller directly, then we'll cross the text event. So in order to avoid that, now we have, uh, we we'll look at needle first. This money will go to the dealer first through the installment sale. But we're asking how the seller get the money. There's another party we're involved. It's called private lender. Private lender will give money through title company to the seller through the loan, loan security loan. So this is the key point for this program. This is the, the money is, is directly from the buyer, the seller will choose tax event. But the money is through the private lender and the non-security uh, non loan means the seller won't, there's no liability for seller to return that money. Well, I will is, explain the details later in the next slide. So seller upfront will get money, no tax needs to pay, and uh, buyer will get the house, get a clean deed, buyer walk away happily, so nothing to do with buyer here. Is it buyer? Buyer. Yeah, buyer. Buyer. Yeah, buyer. Okay, so in title company, now this is kind of a switch, right? Like a, a, in this page, the kept as a dealer because the kept as a dealer own money to, to seller through the installment sale. So that's why in legal agreement, the kept as dealer will on behavior seller to return money to this private lender. Okay, we mentioned on your left laptop, this loan is non collateral no collateral. No collateral at all. So this is will leave the seller have no liability. Interest only, no default payment, thirty years in the first contract. You there's an option you can renew that. No credit report, no non-security loan, which means uh, now dealer will have a liability on behalf of that to return money to private lender. So in the ESCO, this is still ESCO. Dealer, D means dealer, every month return money to seller, automatically this money will go to a lender. So total is 330 payment in 30 years, but first 359 payment uh, interest only. The only the last payment will with a big principal payback. If you are a loan agent, you will understand this, right? So in in this uh, uh, program, the dealer, the lender, and the seller will have a legal agreement. Basically, the dealer will pay back money for seller to the lender. So that's where we need any liability from the seller to pay back money. Okay, any any questions so far? Let me tell you a house that underneath the property thing, what is the goal to get it back? What is the goal to pay for the deal? You mean the tax liability for that month? Yeah, yeah. so that money, because it didn't trigger the tax event. In but here. No, no, you, you get it. So you get it. You get it. Right. Right. Well, I, I will give you the example later. Let me, so basically in one word, summarize this uh, concept. In one slide, basically what trying to do, what, what this program is, legally help the client to to uh, switch, or we call it the swap. Task for sales process to convert the task for sales Process to become the loan process, non tax for loan process. Because it, no one to pay your tax for loan, right? You 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 get a loan, and it won't ask you to pay money. As long as this loan you don't need to pay back, it become your money, then you own it. But you don't need to pay tax. 
So you can all find every pay from your bill. Yeah. But you owe them. Not you only. You owe them money that you don't have to pay back. Right. Why? Because the so deal. How do they make money? The dealer will. Well, if you look at here, the money is go back is already in here. The buying my own money from where? From buying, right? Because the buyer want to buy this house, and the buyer get house, get the deed. Buyer is the walk away. Okay. Now only money, taxable money, just for will go to a dealer. Then seller got money from lender. That's non taxable and the seller does not need to pay back because there's legal women, dealer will pay back on behalf, on behalf of the seller to lender. Why? Because dealer own money for, to the seller. So your 500k is owed to the dealer, and dealer are giving you back by several years, pay you back, pay back to the seller. 30 years, yes. Yeah. So in 30 years, you have 500k, it's not directly go to the seller's account, but back to the dealer, right? Dealer divided into 30 years back, uh, sending back to the seller, but they're not taxable. Well, what I mean? No, the the money seller gets from the lender, not from not directly from a dealer. But the yeah. but the seller gets all five thousand yeah. excluding from the lender. No. Well, no. Uh, what's the question? The 494k capital gain and the profit. The seller gets it all. Not one time, separate. Oh, okay, time. okay. No, not only four hundred ninety is test book okay. gain, okay. right? The seller not only get that money, the seller will get the, the yeah sales sales profit, the sales price. For that case, I show you the real case later on. Uh, uh let let's go back to. <laughs> Let's let's go back to this one uh, first. I know you're 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 talking about this case, right? That's price one point one million. How much? So you basically ask how much the seller will get. Long sum. At close of escrow. At close of escrow. At close of escrow. Okay. So seller will get the sales price minus sales cost. We call it the net sales proceeds, right? The sales cost will be what? The escrow, the agent, yeah, the agent commission. Right. right, that's called net sales proceeds, right? So for this case, probably, I don't know exactly, remember the exact number, but it's uh, about uh, around 1 million net sales proceeds. Yeah, okay. Of course, you use this program, that's some cost. Otherwise, they won't do it free. Right, so the total cost is about uh, uh, there's a three part of cost: the dealer's space and the lender with them. Three more actual roles here, right? Dealer and private lender. Private lender upfront charge one percent loan origin fee. Uh, dealer charge about five percent. Then there's another uh, title cost about 0.5 percent. So total is 6.5% after net sale for state. That's okay. a lot, 6.5% is a yeah. lot. Yeah, so, so it depends on depends on case, not all case, but like I said, for this case, test for then almost 500K. The, the money, you, if, if this guy don't do a 1031 change, don't use leverage this program, they need to pay 183K. Right? Yeah, but most sellers will go for tender and want to change them. Why should they go for this program when they can do something? That's a good question. Let's let's well let's go back to uh, let's let's compare transition one and date first. So we can uh understand that uh, okay, this is next time I'm going to what what's the attention one is change was this mid program here. Right? That's uh on your that's a transition one it changed a lot of limitations. First of all, the time limitation. 45, case, uh, 45 days identification time limited. I have a client failed in this stage already. 45 days, she cannot identify good cash flow property for, for each chance. Or they have chance to close it 188 days, right? And of course, this is only for rental property or investment property. 
you cannot uh, leverage use the 1031 for the re your residential. Of course, you can move back with two years out of two, two out of five years. You claim that a residential, but cost a lot of trouble, right? And that's a lot of hidden costs people didn't re realize. Like uh, remain cash book tax now. If you actually do the 1031, as long as you have any cash off, you will pay tax. Right. And we go back to the, the net proceed part. So if the net proceed is one million. Uh, can you hold on one second? Let me finish this and then we'll go back to your question. So the most is, uh, disadvantage for 1031 is actually you cannot cash out it without paying tax. But this program, for our program, you can actually get all your lump sum minus cost without paying tax. Yeah, we get the point. But once right. you get the whole, total your cost, and how much the seller can get from existing yeah, yeah so okay you know, like because, the sell. Okay, if the net proceed is one million and okay. So that's sixty five thousand. So you get nine sixty five thousand okay. You, you get nine hundred and thirty five thousand X when you sell or yeah. you have to deduct the hundred and eighty three because you're loaning you're loaning money to the company, right? That's why, and you, the lender. That's why they're paying no, you uh, No, you are not loaning money to anyone. You basically through the theater. Okay, let's go go back to here. Because you, you had an earlier slide that says that you get paid like seven hundred thousand in the end after two weeks. So don't have to loan. Don't have to lend money to, to the company to get seven hundred paid back. Okay, so in this case, let's say sales price one point five million net sale proceed, which is after you guys uh, uh, one sales commission one, one million, million, right? So let's assume 6.5, let's say, make it easy, 600, uh, 60K for the cost, yeah. right? So one million minus 60K, the seller will get how much? 940K, right? So the seller does not need to pay 183K to IS. So this is a simple math. Yeah, you're right. Uh, huh? 940k. Now, how much get? So, start to get the money. Yeah. What yeah. transaction go? How long transaction will it take? Is there? Is right after your transaction? So, after you close. Yeah. After so your, money, your 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 escrow close. So you get 940k. Yeah. After everything's done, like right. Right. Away. Right. So then, what's the? 700? Within online transfer, maybe a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that means, uh, okay, that, that's actually, no, if you don't use this program, or if you don't use 1031 change, right, you, you are, no, 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 you are paid, you have tax liability, you need to pay Uncle Sam 183K for tax. Right, exactly, you got it. So during the year and uh, the private lender is just uh, like the tool to help you transition the money. Right. And then they charge 6.5% for the service right. fee. Right. During the time, the money, whole entire money, the portion of money will not tax just no. through the, no. the transaction no. through the dealer and the private lender. Right. But yeah, 30 years later, because it's tax from you have a tax rate. Yeah. So you sort of have some tax flow, but pay certain type of service fee, the 6.5% to the dealers and private lenders. Oh. But 30 years later, you pay the rest of right. 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 Mm -hmm. It's deferred. It doesn't mean you're It's deferred, yeah. So Uncle Sam never say, never, never, say, say, never say, waive your tax liability. Uh, <laughs> right away, later. Yeah. Well, uh, no, it depends on your, your 30 years later, your tax bucket. So that's why we, we actually provide a solution that options that well this money you get is that means you can there's no tax liability thirty years later, right? It's just like a foreign case. If you put it in a foreign case thirty years later when you withdraw money, you need to pay tax. Yeah. Right? So same same concept here. That's why we encourage you or or actually help our clan. That's why we huh? You invest. Why not? Why why you get money? You spend all, right? You 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 invest your tax money.
the poor has a very money to get their return. And then 30 years later, you have enough money not only pay the tax, you have uh, much more left. Yeah, that's uh, that's why uh, we. It doesn't matter for the interest because the seller does not pay back, right? Dealer on behalf of pay back the money. Yeah. So let's see why this works, right? Actually, this is the form of test code C1 in the uh, IS test code. It's called test code called 431, section 43. 453, Pub publication 537. If you want to know, do your diligence, you're welcome to do your diligence to check. You can actually pull out the online, search that uh, from the IS website. Uh, so not only this is the, this program is built up, uh, developed for based on test code, and also in 2020, that's the uh, IS uh, um, audition in Houston. So that's why this case went to the the national wide office, which is office of chief counselor, which gave a moment and to give a summary for this. So basically this is the plastic program. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. is uh, have a tax purpose, that's why the seller can avoid the tax. The right. seller is getting a loan to get that money. Right. But the right. seller is getting a loan to get that money. Right. Does the B have any disclaimer mm -hmm. at the bottom? No. Okay. No. So it's just like 1031 change. The clean, clean B. Right. Right. So I thought like the next. Right, for 800 mm -hmm. I can spend whatever, right? But supposedly, it's after 30 years, I suppose to give it. I have to pay my money, but the tax, I have to pay my money. Right. Right. But how about I spend all the money, 800 pay? I go. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a very good question. Uh, yeah, so. Assume, assume. Well, this is a, this is a, no. This is not only for the this program. For any any tax liability, no. You have a liability, but as, as long as you don't care about your beneficiary, right? If you don't care or you don't have, or let's say this client has, I actually we we, we have client <laughs> has no children. We don't care. I don't have beneficiary. I don't care. What happened? I don't pay back. You don't pay back. As is what chase you, right? But you gone. There's nothing to do. It's not only for this case. There's actually a lot of cases for the test liability. The people cannot no they, they don't have any any <laughs> inheritance or so any I just want to travel all no, around the no, world no, before no. I pass away. I don't have any uh, living trust or anything associated with these two properties. That is the program. Okay. Uh, no. Tra living trust won't protect you. Well, first of all, the the federal tax liability is the number one ha number one have priority yeah. for your, all your assets. As long as you have assets, they will first, uh, no, you'll get the and to, to pay the tax. Yeah, but you, you mentioned you you have other trust, right? You trust means you have a beneficiary. They will get yeah. You unless you spend everything, right? Well, yeah, I, I understand. I understand that. Yeah. Well, those your children will be your beneficiary. Whoever inherited your your asset will have a inherited this liability. 
This is from a from a Faro, uh, no, I asked. Okay, that maybe there's a, some gray area you can try to work or you no, know, work around, but we we don't recommend that because uh, w once you no know, you you get the uh, <laughs> attention from IS 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 a uh, is really well again that's why we we said why why don't you investment that. Uh, if you have confidence, let's say you guys are really good at investment real estate, why don't you invest some? Uh, yeah, you can get a three or four times the uh, return in thirty years later. Then you, you know, you can pay your tax. You have a, a, at least another three or ten times left to your children. Yeah. So. Yeah, this one I I I have no comments for that. <laughs> so as as far as this uh, no, this is program is already have a memorandum from a chief counselor from IS, so you have no problem. You can actually pull it from a IS website. Use that number here, memorandum. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I think I already have this. Uh, I can sh quickly show you here. Yeah, we actually the good part for this. We actually can use program to to rescue 1031 HN. We know the 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 average I, well average data shows that 45% uh, of uh, 1031 HN fail. Good to know. Yeah. So maybe you guys have a much more, more high rate for that, but average. We're talking about the national wide. Okay. Yeah. Well, good to know. Yeah. So I quickly show this uh, uh, memorandum to you. I we, we go to a conclusion here. It says here, taxpayer did not create transaction with a no substance merely to obtain tax benefits. Uh, the step of a transaction match this form, an uh, installment sale coupled with monetized loan, which is, is a IS formal term for this program. The transaction allow taxpayer to take advantage of tax before on the asset sale, which is permit result on this tax code. Okay, and even better, we have coordinated this advice with national office, which agree with our view. So if you have further question, call this number. So, so who regulates the, the dealer? Like the dealer, the, um, um, like can you give an example of? Yeah, that's a very good question. This is uh, no one to regulate this. Only the IS can give a memorandum say this is good or not, right? It's not like, a, but this is kind of new. It's just like when 1031, Exchange come out back to 80. You no, know, a lot of people don't believe in that. You know, then back to then, they didn't believe that, right? And then people don't know how to do that, so they think they're scam. But so the cost to the seller is about six and a half percent to do this, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, that six and a half percent will come out of the escrow money, and then the rest of it goes to the seller, right? Right? Right. So which let's put it this way, is this is if your your capital gain is if your tax money is huge, then this program will benefit you better. Yes. That's why seller has no no gain at all to pay tax. For this, so let me show you this slide again. The dealer pay the month each month. Dealer pay back to seller automatically through a title company. Pay goes to the lender. Those two amount are exactly equal. So for the seller has no gain at all. That's a, that's why every year you just put two for seller just put two records in tax return. Seller does not need to pay. Mm -hmm. 
what what Bella needs to pay file the tax return every year anyway, right? So just put two records there. They were equal and uh, no gain. So the dealer will provide the seller with all the tax documents and stuff like that. Yes. 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 But you don't get all that for money. Right. Right. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I hope that it's a program yeah, yeah. will help you guys to. Well, actually, we have a, quite a few cases. We we present, we help the the agent, the, the real estate agent, to to get the case to become the seller agent because the seller don't want to don't want to sell a house because huge help getting tax. So we present and help the agent to get the case. Say, hey, we can use this program. We don't need to pay capital gain tax now. Thirty years later, you can uh, you can invest. That you can you can do your business. But even buy the other. Like we mentioned that the the if you still like to investment the real estate, you can actually use this program to get the money. Buy whatever you like the property in a proper time. You don't need to compete with other. You can buy the down time to get the property. So. Actually, this this program help uh, our client, quite a few client uh, agent to get the seller agent to sell a house. I have one more question. At least the agent. I have one yeah. question. So, if you use this program and you die after ten years, does your beneficiary get another twenty years, or is it yes. instantly? Yes. Yes, that's a very good question. Let's see. Let's show the scenario here. Let's see if that the uh, if that the uh, uh that's your question. If seller die, right? This contract thirty years, so nothing to do trick the tax event. So you still have thirty years. So you know exactly when this tax event will trigger. You need to pay tax, right? Yeah, continuous. Oh, the I can't hear you. We are recording. No, no, no. Yeah. So when thirty, when we said the principal last payment pay back, that time will trigger the tax event. Then we we'll asked the work, the the, the construction receipt was sent to the IS, right? So I asked one, no, oh, now your transaction closed to the installment sale. Then they will calculate how much you pay, how much you purchase the price, your sale price. Your sale price is fixed already, right? So then we then calculate your 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 tax bucket. Well, you know, nothing kept again. For now, only three bucket: zero, fifty percent, twenty percent. So depending on income, actually, we can help you lower your. If you have thirty years to 